Hi, I'm Kyla Epstein with Seabrook & Associates. Welcome to my weekly series, Working Moms. Today I have Natasha McDonald, who owns the kitchen shop in downtown Aurelia. Natasha has owned the store since August 2021, so not even a year. No, not How a year. How exciting! <laughs> we love all of the items that are at the kitchen shop. We stopped by here, we did Black Friday shopping, Le Creuset was number one on our list. Natasha, do you want to just tell the viewers a bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, so before I took over the store, um, I actually worked with at-risk youth in a live-in treatment house, so I was doing shift work, um, I wasn't home a lot, and I have two beautiful children. So it was kind of that time where I needed that change, um, that balance, right, of the family life. And this opportunity came and I, you know, I'm trying to get more into cooking and, you know, love good quality products and love interacting with people. So I'm like, I still get to interact with people, but I'm home every night now and can be with my kids. So I uh, made the change and I am so happy I did. And how old are the kids? Uh, my daughter is just over two and my son is four and a half. So just that sweet spot of yes. that missing mom. <laughs> yes, and, exactly. Uh, yeah, so it was a good change for me. And how would you say that the balance is now that you have like more of that nine to five life? Yeah, it basically, will, yeah. yeah. It's honestly, before I wasn't home to do bedtimes and it, I was gone early in the morning sometimes. So now I get up in the mornings, I'm with both kids, breakfast, get my son on the bus, and then I'm home every night and I get to do bedtime and have that flexibility. Um, and I have great staff, which is a huge benefit. So, you know, if I want to take a day off, I can because I you know can rely upon them so it's really nice and can you tell us a bit about just having that support system of when you were working the oh, like the shift work yeah. compared to now and just in terms of um, so my husband was phenomenal he is phenomenal like he really stepped up when I was working the shift work um, just being that hands-on dad and doing bedtimes and stuff and he still is phenomenal but i also have my mom too which lives local and his mom so it really helps if we're wanting to you know go out and do things or if i need help uh, with the kids for them to step up too and would you say that it changed from having one to two because oh. that's something obviously yes. we're about to <laughs> experience it's like uh, it's a big adjustment at yeah. first it's very very busy um, but honestly, once, I don't know, once my daughter started to get a little bit older, it's just seeing the connection between them two is, it uh, makes my heart so happy. And it's yeah. nice having the parents local. Oh, huge, yes. huge help. I, I I'm very grateful for that because I know people don't always have that, yeah. but yeah, we're very fortunate. I know. See, Eric, I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> to show him how much we need our, our parents Honestly, when we you can. Do. Yeah, you do. Cause yeah. you also have to make time for you and yes. you're, you're busy, you're working and you need that balance in your life. And would you say that you had any like identity loss or an identity crisis when you had kids? Yes. For sure. It was more when I had my daughter, I struggled a lot afterwards. I think just because you're trying to put your focus on both kids now, it's not just one. So I kind of felt like I lost myself as like, you know, as me. So I kind of, I made the initiative to dive back into taking care of myself. I do a lot of like podcasts and meditation. So I kind of took that back afterwards, um, but it was hard at first. So I think you have to like make that time for you to find you again afterwards. Yeah. Mom is like number one, but you also have to remember you have you too. Yeah, you don't want to forget who you were no. before you were at mom. No, like, exactly. We were fun. Yeah, right? <laughs> Come on, we can we're still cool. be fun. <laughs> Would you say that you have any mom guilt now owning the store, or do you think now that it aligns with like the kids' school and daycare? Yeah, it helps? I think I had a lot more guilt before <laughs> not being home, um, and now just being home at night and but you still get that guilt like if I want to go out for a night I'm still like ah, I feel bad I'm not doing bedtime because they love me <laughs> doing bedtime but that's where you have to remember you got to do stuff for you but it's just rem like I remind myself all the time I do this for them like I'm doing this for them so in the long term it's going to benefit the family you know everywhere it's so, so true yeah and maybe one of them will be like Gordon Ramsay or something yeah because <laughs> you have the store maybe we'll see yeah. <laughs> my son comes in here and he loves showing things <laughs> I'm like oh <laughs> and with the change of the career shift yeah was that due to the pandemic or was this pre-pandemic and then it just the timing worked out during the pandemic 
It, yeah, I wouldn't say, like some of the pandemic probably had to do with it because I was like exposed to a lot um, and we had highly aggressive kids. So like you're right with them as well. So the fear of also bringing something home to the family. Um, but I think it was also just the balance that I was gonna get more doing it. Um, I was obviously fearful because the pandemic's going on. I'm now starting a career. My husband started his own business too. So it was like scary to make that jump, but it, w it just felt right, you know? So we make it work and it's been working amazing. So it's so great. Yeah. And nothing but up now. Nothing. Well, that's it. I have so many plans and changes for the store that I want to do. So I'm really excited about it. Oh, that's great. Honestly, before I owned the business, like I came downtown, but I didn't really explore downtown. And now that I own the store, I don't, I've just been like meeting different store owners and everyone is so lovely. And there's so many beautiful shops. And until I like actually made the initiative and like bought the store and came downtown, I love everything about the downtown. I'm obsessed with Studio 11. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nicole. <laughs> um, and I just, yeah, I think it's really important to sp support the local. Everyone's trying to do the best that they can do in this crazy time. And there's so many um, different varieties downtown of different options that you can get. So I honestly encourage everyone to come down and look. It's so nice seeing all the young faces who've been kind of turning over yeah. the stores because I was gone in Toronto for 10 years and there okay. was nothing really yeah. down here. And now all of a sudden it's like, it's like booming. Yes. And I just think it like, you know, with people taking over stores and different things like that, we all bring different perspectives and, you know, different ideas and, and changing things. And I think it's just such a beautiful downtown. So cherish it, right? Change so, is good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so now do you want to show me a couple pieces around the store that are good sure. hacks for moms? Sure. Perfect. Hacks for moms. <laughs> I have these at home, the bamboo plates. Oh. Because nice. they're eco-friendly, but yeah. also great for like the kids, the cups, everything like that. So that you don't worry that they're going to break it or anything. My kids love it. Uh -huh. Then they choose what colors they like. Um, so I definitely recommend those. The drink boxes are great mm. too. Um, just fill it up and then it's easy to push too. Okay. So both my kids, more so my daughter, loves that. Um, I am gonna get more of like the bento boxes and okay. stuff in that have like the different divides in it. So I am looking into getting something like that too, which are great. I've sold a bunch of those. And then I always find like the baking stuff because I kids are into that. Yes. Right? So um, I get a lot of parents that come in that want to get baking supplies and different things. So the bowls are really nice and easy, especially for kids because they have the little spouts so they can help pour. Um, and then all like the little whisks. So I sell a lot of that for um, families that do a lot of cooking and baking together. Lovely. These are a huge hack for making lunches. I will show you. I use it in my son's. So you take these out and in the lunch boxes you put each individual food. Oh, so it's not blueberries yeah, or cheese. Different. Exactly. So it Love separates that. it. So that's a that's a great little you know option to have for lunches. Thanks again to Natasha for having us at the kitchen shop. Stay tuned for more episodes coming soon. Thank you.